what is the deal? Oh my God. Oh, is it on? Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this thing recording? What's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, and the lands all across the land? This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and welcome to the Star on Fox After Show. This show is hosted by me, T.S. Madison, and sponsored by Fox. Don't you ever forget it, honey. Now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight was a, it was an amazing night. I'm going to let you guys come on because I see y'all trying to get in. Get in. Tell your mother. Tell your grandmother. Tell her, your aunt. Tell your sister. Tell your cousin. Y'all come on in. We got to discuss. We have to discuss because I know it was so many oh my God moments tonight on the after show and oh, amazing. I'm out here in Los Angeles, California, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm actually doing the Star on Fox after show in the Pop Sugar Studios. So, you know, excuse the brick wall back there, honey. Just look at the cute face, all right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, my special guest tonight is none other than the, than the internet superstar sensation himself, James Wright Chanel. Come over here, James. Welcome. Yes. Everybody, give a round of applause to my friend James Wright Chanel. Now, James is, James, you, you're kind of a super fan to the show. Are you just getting really involved with the show? Because, you know, we do this after show because we want to get people at home. We want to get people on Facebook, this in social media that's not really familiar with the show, mm -hmm. to get involved with the show or not, or that's not, you know, really, or that's really fans of the show to be involved with the show. So tell me, tonight, you sitting here and we watched it live. What did it give for you? What was it? Like, you took notes and everything. I took notes, because let me tell you, baby. First of all, let me tell you this. Let me start off with this, okay? You can't ju just be killing people and not know who they know. You're right. So the biggest oh my God moment for you by sitting here watching it live was Charlene. Charlene. Girl, honey. Charlene came through. Charlene, now listen, for, your, for those of you that, that, don't, that are not familiar, Charlene is... Arlene's twin sister. Twin sister. And she, is this eviler? She eviler. Is that a word or name? But it's, it is tonight. She's eviler. She's more evil. Ooh. You a mean one, Mr. Ooh. Grinch. Baby, listen. Baby. Arlene, uh, Charlene. Because it's yeah. Charlene showed up mm -hmm. and showed out, honey. Listen, by the time the show went off, baby, Brody was over there shaking like a old <laughs> baby. Like a street urchin, honey. Baby, but let me tell you, honey, in the book of Anthony Hamilton, it says, come on home to me, Charlene. And she came on home. She came on home and had she a came home and Listen, business. you got to be careful the things you do out here in this world. You don't know who people's kin to. You have no idea in At whose all. people is kin to. At all. Listen, Charlene handled that. Charlene handled that. Hold on. Like a G. Like a capital G. Like a so let's go through the run of the show. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to give me your complete honest opinion about the episode. Tell me honestly, what did you feel about the episode? The episode was jaw dropping. Because, like, I was at the edge of my seat. Like, okay, so what's going to happen next? Oh, what's going to happen next? What's gonna, well, First of all, when Charlene popped up, I had an oh oh in my shop. You had an oh oh in your soul. You just felt something down in mm -hmm. your spirit when that woman showed. You was like, wait a minute, ain't that? Oh, what? What you say? Wait, wait, wait a minute. What? What happened? Oh, oh, if it, it, it touched you if right baby, now, baby, I had an oh oh in my. Oh, baby, the twin popped up. Which twin? Scoot over so they. And can you see. know she's not coming to play, right? At all. So do you got a secret twin here somewhere? If somebody did something to you. Um, I am my twin. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. <laughs> well, thank you, James. I got to tell you this honestly. Thank you for joining me this week because you know this was a, this was the spur of the moment thing. We just popped up out here in LA, and I done really turned you on to watching stars. So will you be watching it like yes every single week? every single week? DVR, get ready. Here comes star. Okay, now it did open up with a very political uh, statement because we did see that. Angel's mother was in the, she was in the dish. She was trapped. Mm -hmm. He had her down there. The enemy had her trapped, trapped honey. And not in the closet. She wasn't in the closet, but she was trapped down in the den, and he wouldn't turn her loose. He wouldn't turn her loose. Baby, what, they was what song we came up with that when the enemy has you trapped? When something. the enemy has you trapped. No one been changed. No, she ain't been changed now. She changed now. No, she not. Oh, she, but she did get on the line. No, she ain't been changed because her last name is still Rodriguez. 
What what you what song you think we should do? Should I don't do know what song. song. She wasn't trapped in the closet, but they had her down there trapped. The enemy had her trapped. Maybe. And we did see her come out from that. She was mm-hmm. loose, you know. She, she was it was released from her, and she was out. And when she came out, she went to go visit Angel. Angel. And he was so filled with emotion, like after seeing, have, have been able to see his mother. But before she got to Angel, she stopped by and visit, had a visit and a talk with Victoria. Who is Victoria? Victoria's Secret. <laughs> <laughs> she did look like she had done cleaned up real good because mm-hmm. I almost didn't notice her laying on, who she was laying on that floor. She had a secret for him. She did. She did. And it was a Victoria. Okay. It was All Victoria. right. Now, how do you think that Angel took the news of being an immigrant? How do you think that? How do you think that really? I don't think it really, for me, I don't think it really resonated in his spirit. I don't think it's, he, oh, he didn't get that. Mm-mm, he didn't. He didn't get that yet. He didn't get that. But how your mama going to come and prophesy and tell you you're an immigrant? Out the blue. Out the blue, out the blue, the yellow, the green, all the colors. Just pop up and be like, baby, I just got to let you know that the man that you thought was your daddy, he ain't. What you mean? The man that you thought you was your daddy. Well, his name is Jose Cuevo. Oh, and I ain't talking about the liquor. And he ain't got no papers. Honey, he ain't, you know, he ain't got no papers. And they might just come and take Angel to the King, Lord. He ain't got no papers. I ain't have no papers, so we ain't supposed to be here. She's got papers. No, <laughs> actually, actually, what uh, what they were saying was. Nobody's supposed to be here. <laughs> I'm trying that long. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody's supposed to be here. That's how she should have came in. Listen, when he got there, when she got there, she told him all that stuff. His, I know Angel's first word in his mind she was. She should have sung. No, I know Angel's first words in his mind was, ay, ay, ay. He said, ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. She said, you are. Baby, they looking for you. Listen, I know them Trump. I know he was like, bitch, I voted for Trump. I shouldn't have did it. Ay, ay, ay. They didn't even build a gate yet. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 so now let's talk to let's talk about one of the big moments of, of the show tonight. They have like like Lee Daniels is showing out. I love Lee Daniels. Lee Daniels is showing out bringing all his superstar power now. Baby. Listen, did you see he pulled one of the Migas? The Migas. He pulled one of the Migas up one there. One of the Migas. One of the Migas up Hit there. him with a left. Hit him with a right. I'm going to knock that out like fight night. With a left. Right, 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 right. With a left. With a right. With a shake. With a left. With a right. With a... Quavo. With Quavo. Did you see how Quavo... Now listen. It let wasn't me, Jose. Let me, it was not Jose. Mm-mm. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't know who has been giving Quavo those acting lessons, but I'm not gonna front for 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 me to see him first time acting on a television I got my show. Life. I got my life. He he knew his line. I felt like he been there. Yeah, I really felt like that. That was something that is that's really something that was is in his future mm-hmm. to act like that because he really made me. I, I maybe because the character is so believable because right. it's a part of his genetic makeup. Maybe right. you know. Now, what do you think about his character? His character is what I kind of expected. What I expected it to be, because mm-hmm. you know he's a um, one of them. Did you just see how you pulled that fire, baby. Listen, now I did think that he came on the scene. I guess, well, I mean, this is probably the Quavo thing that he came on the scene and he was very much so like, you know, all arrogant and stuff. Mm-hmm. And y'all need me. Y'all need me. Y'all need. But see, y'all. it don't always work like that. Hmm. And I always work like that. You know, some people come in thinking, you need me. Mm-hmm. But see, God had a plan. He did. You don't always need that need. That's right. But at the end of the day, we do need Quavo. We do need Quavo. We do need Quavo over there. Because Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci That's what you gang. listen. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. But this is the thing for me. Like, the character made me really believe, like, this is the stuff that really goes on in the studio. This is the stuff that really goes on mm-hmm. behind the scenes, you know. He was there, and when he pulled that fire out on Noah, I, first of all, I love Noah. I love, I love I, Noah. I love Noah, and I'm, I'm seeing that Noah is really, you know, lo- really struggling with his right with his, his with his drinking problem. See, he was struggling his whole life. See, he was struggling with the. He can't have a drink. He can't, but I can. 
So Noah, Noah gave a little. All that you can't drink, I swallowed. Noah for gave you. a little Parkinson. He did. Mm -hmm. He was like, and we were standing over saying, "Don't give in to the enemy. Mm -hmm. Don't give in to the enemy. Don't give in. To Don't the give enemy. in to the enemy. Don't give in to the enemy." <laughs> <laughs> but he ended up uh, putting the drink down. Yes, he did. At that scene. And, and it was still a full cup. It still was a full cup. It wasn't like this. And then Carlotta oh. stepped in. Carlotta stepped in. And when Carlotta stepped in, it was very... He asked her to be his, his manager. manager. Now, let me ask you a question before we... I don't want to jump all over the place because it's a lot that went on this right. episode. Because we got to get back to Quavo. Now, when, when he asked Carlotta to be his manager... Now, you know that Carlotta is, uh, manages the girl. Mm -hmm. Take three. Right. You know that Noah has been having a three-way love affair with Star mm. and Alex. Mm. So, do you think this is all kind of like a bad situation to have a manager? Is this, do you think this was a bad thing? That goes back to what you said earlier. I think it's a no, 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 no. I think it's that. A very no. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Keep talking. I'm Keep talking. Cause so yeah, I think it's. But what's funny is, don't mind. Me. I feel like she keeps Noah sane and calm. Okay, you know that's what they was doing in the studio. That's what they was doing in the studio. Yeah, you, you saw me. You know when Quavo come on the set, they got the roll. You got the roll up one. They hold on, I ain't do it right with me. Uh huh. Now you you got that? Hold on, let me show you. Rolling in the deep. Make sure this right. Rolling in the deep. Oh, okay. Lick them low, bring that, it up slow. That's, <laughs> that seals the deal. We'll, we'll handle this. Deal. We'll handle this later. Yes, yes. We'll handle this later. We don't want Fox Washington to handle it. They rolling up on <laughs> Melissa. They rolled up and they handled that shit in there in the, in the studio. So and have and had the girl lick it. She did. Now in the midst of all that rolling and, and rolling and rolling and wheeling in the mm -hmm. studio, uh, Alex took. Took uh, Quavo's phone and she did a she did a selfie or whatever, mm -hmm. and it, it was a good thing to see all three of the girls working together. They're working together, they was trying to because you know all things work, work together, together for good for good for those that love Quavo. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got to say it again. All things work together for, for good, good for those that love Quavo. That love Quavo. And all of them was in that loving Quavo. Right? All of them was loving Quavo. Yeah. So, you know, what happened was it blew their it blew their show up. Mm -hmm. It blew their Instagram up. It blew the stuff up. Sold out show. So it, 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 show, it sold out. It, the show was huge, you know. Right. And right. then, you know, after that, they performed a song called Spotlight. Mm-hmm. What did you think about that choreography for Spotlight? The choreography for, uh, for Spotlight, it was cute. Mm -hmm. so they had the little kids, the little girl. The little girl was twirling her little braid. Come on, little girl. Shout out to that little girl. She was, was twirling her little the braid. The choreography was really, was really good. Wait a minute. We ain't, we ain't finished. Bro. James, you know I ain't from LA. Are you, I'm from LA. Tupac. What's I, ain't from, I ain't from LA. You got to put show you how we do it. Let me, show me how Quavo them did it in the show studio. Show, show me how. You. Show me how Quavo them did, how they did it. This is a reenactment of what happened, of what on, happened. in the studio. So we don't show, do this. We don't do this. We say. We, we and, we, and then you know sometimes we give a little. Oh okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm down for that. It's legal. It's legal it's, here. Well, it's legal here in yeah. California. Okay. Well, let's keep it in here. Keep it in here. <laughs> okay. Now. What do you think about Quavo, excuse me, about Noah swinging on Quavo? He should have. Why? He said something foul. That was foul. But you do know that Noah and Alex are really not together. I know, but it's just still, that's his Judy. No, it ain't his Judy. I mean, you know, he, but it, it, he didn't have the right to come in there. I mean, I felt that if anybody was to say it, Noah could have said it. But Quavo, you just came in there. But I mean, I, it did look like Alex was kind of like feeling him. Yeah, she playing him so they could get them sold out shows. Oh, you're right. You're right. Now I did notice that you took a lot of notes over here. Let's go over some of these notes. But she might let him tap. You never know. You know. That's Quavo. The honey. Let me tell you. So, let's see. 
Angel um, was singing. You better Angel better sing. Angel, yes. Angel, you were singing on tonight, girl. You better sing. You better sing. You better sing. Okay. Honey. And um, my notes are also got, uh, hell, we kind of covered this. No, Brody. Oh, no. Brody. Brody. Listen, you sat back there. You have been watching this woman. You have been covering for this woman for many, many years, child. Now, you know that woman killed the mama. The woman was standing up there acting like she gave her mama a old, she gave her a drug test. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't a drug test. And she thought she was giving her mama her medicine. Really quick, that's jacked. That's a that's jacked up that your parent would have you giving you giving her her drugs and got you thinking it's medicine. And you a child, you don't know no better. You think you helping mommy. Mommy's like, bring my medicine. And you're like, okay, mommy. And didn't know that that was the very thing that was gonna take her out. But and then she sat over there and gave her another little squirt, and it it, it went it took her to heaven hmm. or somewhere with a little foamed mouth. Just something foaming all at the mouth. Mm mm. Took her somewhere. Yeah, she. I, I, I that was deep for me. Yeah, because for the past for the from the beginning of the season all the way up to now, she's been having these flashbacks, mm -hmm. flashbacks, and we could never figure out exactly what it was that she kept having these flashbacks about. But in my mind, I kind of figured that, figured that she had did something to her mm -hmm. mama or whatever, but because she was trying to suppress something. Because I was like, damn, why is Star always feisty and mad mm -hmm. and want to fight? Because she want to know what happened. She knew what happened, but she just couldn't she, she, she put it all together. Yeah. And then Brody didn't want to tell her. But who going to tell, who going to tell what happened to Brody? Baby. Because when Charlene, excuse me, Charlene, Charlene, right? When Charlene rolled up on the scene. With a gangster lean. I think you better let it go. She rolled up with a gangster with a gangster lean, diamond in the back, sun rooftop. No, she ain't had no sun rooftop. He might be somewhere with a sun rooftop. <laughs> with a sun roof car. Baby, because the way she dropped that uh that lecture cord over there in that water, honey, he was shaking like a he was shaking like a Christian on Sunday. And we usually see on we usually see people throw the lamp in the water. She said, I, I'm going Let, to put the plug. But I didn't get the thing going on with the with the bath sauce. What the bath sauce was going to do? What, was she seasoning the body? Oh, was that? <laughs> was she seasoning the body? Before, was she seasoning the body before the broil? It was a seasoning electrocution. Well, I wanted to know what she did with the salt. She put it in the water and then dropped the electric cord. And what she, Maybe this, she said... You, I'm gonna relax you a little bit with this seasoning. And she said, "Then I'm gonna really relax you with this electrocution." Cause he, she gave him jail electrocution. He's, she took him to. Truth is, I'm tired. Uh -huh. She took him Come to the on. king. Options are few. Okay. I don't think he had time to pray. I'm trying to pray. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But where are you? Come on, where are you? He's in the water. But he what he needed a word. I'm all church. I'm all starred out. <laughs> <laughs> but did you actually see what he did to uh, Arlene earlier in the season, baby? He had listen. Let me tell you something. He had old nasty prison shank. Mm -hmm. he, he gave her a uh, remember that movie American Me. He gave her one of them. Oh, he gave her that, honey. And she and he she, he gave her that, and she gave up the ghost right down. Shanked the her to the king. <laughs> Shanked her right on oh, to the glory. Shank her to, to the king. Uh-huh. And he, her, he, her sister came there and seasoned him like an old good stew. She seasoned him like a what you know what what is it you put in a crock pot and boil? Oh, you roast? Yeah, she she seasoned him like with a good with potatoes and the carrots and the baby. He shanked her to the king. Sister popped up at the door like Shirley Murdoch and said, It's morning. <laughs> <laughs> she said <laughs> she, yeah. The twin has risen, okay? Baby came through and she, baby came through and and and, and collected on Maya Angelou and said, "I rise, baby." Jesus in the name. That's why you can't do stuff to folks and you don't know who they people with. That's right. You can't do that. You can't threaten people. You can't do it. You don't know their people. You can't, you can't do that. Now listen. Here we go with Simone and Angel. They had a scene on the porch where they was like they was locked on mm -hmm. and kissing. No, they ain't smoke no joint. They were they were locked joint. I see. I would get a little bit closer, but being that you know we sisters, we, we just 
be sister, we can't do that. It was locking. But pop lock and drop. It. I'm I'm saying this because we did notice that earlier in the season, um, Simone was struggling with her identity, her sexuality. Reality. Her sexual identity. We we didn't know if she was interested in a man or we didn't know if she was interested in a woman. We didn't know. Her her her, her people just died in the fire. Her people just had a shocker car moment. Through the fire. To the, the world. world. For just to be with you. I'm on the road. Get on. Amen. Listen, <laughs> and, and, and that's what she ended up being with at the at the end. Mm -hmm. with, with the man. So my thing is, do you think because I know that uh Angel married her because she was young. Right. You know, and got her out of the juvenile thing. But who going to save Angel? Because who going to... He ain't even supposed to... Oh, I just thought about something. Oh, but wait a minute. No. She saved him. She married him. Yes, but she he she married him because she was underage. And she but I think married. it's going to work in his favor, too. It's going to work in his favor. It's going to work in his favor. You think so? That's what my soul says. My soul says yes. Really? Yes. My but soul says yes. If it does work out, do you see them being a long-standing, real, real couple, real relationship? Something's gonna happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that they're gonna stay in a relationship? Do you think that this? What are you? I'm reading the comments down here in the comment section. What did you guys feel about the show tonight? And what did? What was a big oh my god moment for you guys? I'm gonna read a couple of of. of uh, of you answers down here. Okay, Larissa Marsh says, I think Alex and Angel are a cute couple. They, they did mm -hmm. look cute. I think they're cute. Um, I hope they don't leave that part out of Star Daddy getting killed. Oh, baby, he gone. They match. He Star Daddy, she, he got Brody gone. That was a while for me, though. They, that, they, are that, they, did Charlene kill when they, But after when the daughter called back, like, come on, you got to answer the phone. Not knowing that her daddy is. The spirit told her something had done went on. She know. She knew that he had done transformed. Next week. She had, she knew he had done transformed from flesh to spirit. Mm. I felt that in my That he had transformed from flesh to spirit. She had one of those moments. Yeah. Okay, so they said that she's a citizen and makes him a citizen now. Yeah, that's what I think. Um, okay, I think Lala is up to something. She came out of nowhere. Okay. Uh Roxana said that she that, that she thinks they'll be together. Uh, just somebody said they can't take it yourself. Lala, yeah, Lala is up to something. Her soul didn't say yes. You didn't. Mm -mm. Okay. She got to find floetry so she can uh, say yes. Uh, Sierra Oglesby said when Star found out what happened to her mom, that was deep. Like as a child mm -hmm. growing up and didn't have to suppress all of that type of stuff, girl. That is something that's really deep. And I know what's happening. Ooh, to see her mama just. Ooh, they say Lala is going to bring some drama. I predicted. Okay. I think something bad will happen another to If Cotton can come back, Brody can come back. Well, listen, now we did see Cotton go under that water. Now we did see Cotton go under that water. Her eyes opened up like this. But we we saw We saw Brody have a we saw him have a moment and I don't I don't feel he did. You don't feel Brody did? Okay, let me put a tub of water and some salt in there with your ass in. The salt saved him. I'm trying to figure out why she put the salt in the water. I can't figure that out. Uh, okay, uh, Kenton Walker said, do you think that Star is going to kill Charlene? Mm, now, that would be a twist. Oh. That would be a twist. Star. But didn't I say, but wait a minute. You remember I said, I said, she's about to go after Star. Yeah, Imani Michelle said, Brody ain't coming back, y'all. I don't know. I feel Brody. Brody, he a cat. Okay, B. Antoine said, Star about to go on a rampage and find out uh, her aunt killed her daddy. Well, it's not her aunt. That's it's not her aunt. It's not her aunt. Thank you. Uh, so, can okay, you tell us the name of Angel's song? What was Angel's song, the name of it? I don't know, but I lived how Angel went and recorded the song and just took his earphones off and set them back on the mic and walked off. You better walk off like it's a performance. In the studio, Angel. Oz. Okay, Zandra Hills just explained to me what was the salt for. Okay, Zandra Hills said the salt 
acts as a conduct a conduit for electricity. Yeah, extra sense. frying action. Oh yeah, Brody gone. Brody. Brody. He didn't got electric chair. Let's have a moment. Let's, Let's have a, bro a moment. Mm. 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 Amazing How sweet the sound that saved. No, he wasn't saved. He, he wasn't. He wasn't saved. Unsaved. Unsaved. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> okay, somebody said salt in this tub is a chemical burn. I think Omari gonna come back. Yes, they said Latifah gonna kill Charlene. Now that would be good. She gonna beat her. They said Charlene might come after Star Two. I don't think this new information Star Learn will shake up her whole character. They say fried died and laid to the side. Hey, uh, okay. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, listen, we got so much stuff to look forward to next week. A whole lot. This is a whole lot of stuff. James, I'm so glad that I have really put you on to watching Star. Please, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you're watching Star make on sure. Fox that comes on 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You got to watch it. And immediately after that, come over to the Star on Fox after the show so that we can discuss, dish the tea, gossip about it. You tell us what happened. You get your life. I'm out here in L.A. I don't have the phone because I knew you guys would have called in and we'd have been ch ch chopping it up about it. <laughs> James, I'm so glad. We forgot something. What? The part when um, Star and Brody was and she when she was at his house and she said, don't call me or don't contact me no more. And he was about to jump up. Well, he, Cause she got a lot of her mama in her. He gone now. Oh, Brody. So she ain't got to jump up at nobody else. He gone now. Brody. He gone now. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do thank you for tuning in to the Star on Fox After Show. Once again, this show is hosted by me, T.S. Master, every Wednesday and sponsored by Fox every Wednesday. And we thank you guys for coming. And, James, thank you for coming through, You're lending welcome. us your thoughts and me turning you on to being a, coming, a new super fan I of the show. It. I love and it. Can you take us out with a song? Make sure a Quavo you song. A Quavo song. Give us something from Gucci Gang, 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 Gucci Gang. I'm saying Hoochie. Hoochie Gang. Hoochie Gang, Hoochie Gang, Hoochie Gang, Hoochie Gang, Hoochie Gang. Oh, you can't give us no. Mama told me. You better shop around. Not the seal work. I said, Mama told me. Not to say a word. Mama told me. Uh -huh. Not to say a word. Mama told me. Not to say a word. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the Star Fox at the show. We love you and we'll see you next week. Bye. Somebody said, walk it like you're talking. Walk, walk it, it like you're like talking. talking. Walk it like you're talking. Bye, guys.